might be a championship preview, but tonight it's a championship repeat, yeah. How about that? Austin Sindring making his way back down onto Bent Road here after taking the win. The call 811 for you, Dick 200. Team Penske back in a victory lane here at Phoenix Raceway. Well, Austin Sindring last year, he was the creator of the slide job, if you will. Using the non PJ1 track, sliding up in front of another driver and getting in that compound and lighting it up all the way around the track afterwards. We saw that all night here tonight. We'll see it again, Championship Weekend in November. But what Austin Cindric exceeded at the most here was the long run. It seemed like that 22 was the fastest car when it came to having those long runs, a green-white checkered. They still couldn't catch him though. Ty Gibbs tried his darnest though in that final corner of the race, but he comes home in second. A first place finish and a second place finish in Ty Gibbs' first ever Xfinity Series races coming off of a victory last night in the Arkham Menard Series. And how about some great feel-good stories out of this Xfinity Series race? Brandon Brown, the family-built team who doesn't have full sponsorship. They come home in a third place position tonight, a career best for him, and then also for Mark Harmon Racing. Bailey Curry, sponsored by Local Learner and Road, he gets his best career finish coming home in the seventh position. And how about the hometown hero, J.J. Yaley out of Phoenix, Arizona taking the Rick Ware Racing number 17 to a 13th place finish. The highly underfunded team swapping drivers every week. And great to see the USAC Triple Crown Champion putting down competitive laps at his home track of Phoenix Raceway. It was certainly an interesting race for a lot of guys who aren't typically running up front but getting great finishes. Will we see another irregular winner in the Cup Series tomorrow, Sunday's Instacar 500 from Phoenix Raceway. We'll see you then, guys.